So I heard na you are now working as a virtual assistant. So, paano ba yung naging journey mo, yung transition mo from working in a BPO company to working as a virtual assistant knowing na virtual assistant is one of the most highest paying job in today's time? So, um, well, there's really a lot of confidence that comes from it. <laughs> so, I guess I I don't know, I did not know anything about virtual assistant at first. Like, you know, start on the BPO industry, hindi pa talaga, wala pa talaga yung like virtual assistant in mind at all. So, para isip ko, hirap mo siguro gawin yan. Mm. Parang ganyan. So, I, I did not expect to be at this moment or at this point. But suddenly, after working for BPO industry for like five years, and it, it BPO is is a very, it is very very demanding industry. It's very dynamic. You'll have to really catch up upon everything to its demand, which is a very good thing because it will really make you grow as a person. Right. Your your intelligent upon how to communicate will definitely grow. But for me, I would. I really wanted to get out of the cycle at that moment, and I thought that nothing yung mga kaya ng virtual assistant, right? Like you wanna try something new, right? I, I wanted to try something new, and, and I heard also that it pays better compared from the BPO industry, and I really did not believe it at that moment because I haven't really experienced that, mm -hmm. right? So. Yun yung yung pagtapos ng five years ko ng BPO, I have applied for like several like type of uh, virtual assistants, like companies that they're hiring people, freelancing. So since I I come from the customer service of the BPO, so I, I was confident that I can definitely do the job in virtual assistant using or doing the customer service as well. Like confidence is the key. Isip ko, ah, kaya nga iba, bakit ko kaya, right? Oh. So, <laughs> I oh, was... Man. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of job, job hunting in Facebook, looking for something that are... Kasi nga, like, hiring. pandemic, di ba? So, right. laging uso yung, ano, mag-work remotely. Exactly. So, it was also offered by the company as well to work remotely before. But aside from that, there was really a lot of doors opening where you can apply for a job remotely. So I, I tried and fortunately I got accepted. Confidence lang talaga meron ako dun kasi hindi ko alam na ah, gaya ka pa yun. Yung parang kung sa BPO industry ka, you'll have to deal with your managers and they're just like, you know, they're Filipinos. You can talk to them, you know, vernacular, in a vernacular language. Now, working in the virtual assistant world, you'll have to talk to other people with other races, they could be Americans, British, or Australians, depending if we're the people that will be hiring you, right? So you'll be talking directly to the client. To the client, exactly. You'll be talking directly to the client who really gives you the money right. in terms of your work. So that was a change. That was really a huge change because suddenly you have to speak in an English language for the whole eight hours or for the whole part of the day. <laughs> That's challenging. <laughs> That's challenging. <laughs> At least you sabi pio ka pa ka pag check ka pa dun sa katabi uh -oh. mo. Na kung ano na nyan ay ganyan. Uh -oh. oh, gala tayo noon dito. Kasi mga boss mo, kasi yun nga, Filipino din sila, so you can talk to them in your native language. Exactly. Diba? But suddenly, like you have to speak with American people all the time. Aside from that, you'll have to communicate with them virtually. So, from renting a small boarding house that cost 1500 paano ka dumating sa point ng life mo ngayon na you are now living in a two-bedroom house? And that's your own house, di ba? Yes, um, and I'm, I'm proud of it, actually. So, it's not a mansion, or it's not a two-story building, or it's, it's not even like, it's not even a condo. So, um, but I'm still proud of it. Yes, what you said, na nag-start ako ng renting a single bedroom with just bed frame on it, right? Wala man lang yung foam and everything else. So, now, working as a virtual assistant really gave me that opportunity because it really pays more compared to what I have worked with before. 
So I, I was really thankful that now I'm working in that company who really pays me very well, who does not really like treat me like freelancer. Ganon. It's really freelancing is a really good job, but I don't. You don't have to worry if if you're being employed. You don't have to worry about what if matapos na tong ano project na to uh -oh. ano gagawin ko next time. Mas kasi secured talaga yung ano mo ngayon. Oh, oh, kasi I mean you freelancing. There's nothing wrong with it, pero. Um, issue lang doon is if the project ends, you gotta have to find it's either this client that you have right now gives you another project that you can work on consistently, or they will probably hire you as their employee, or you probably have to go ahead and apply for another project proposals. Ganon. I am just so fortunate to be part of this company now that really treats me like an employee. And despite of me in the, in, like in the other side of the world, ginagawa pa rin nila like they treat me or they treat us here, the employee in the Philippines, as like someone, one of their own. So, with that, I can afford having a house. It's not in it on cash; it's monthly, but it's still something that I, I would say I'm really, really proud of. Because it's not in bill, the monthly, yeah, de It's it's, it's it's really way way right. expensive. It's very expensive, but um, we're hoping to get it. I mean, like housing loans in the Philippines would have you can apply them for big, so it'll be a lot cheaper. You know, going about the budgeting now, may may kasabihan na pag maglalaki lalaki yung salary mo, lalaki din yung expenses mo. I completely agree with that. Why? Because you always have to pay for your comfort. And that's why you work. I mean, right. yeah, you, that's why you work. You have to pay for your comfort. If you can afford it, go pay for it. What's the whole purpose of you trying to earn, like higher salary, more money? Tatrabaho ka graveyard. Tapos hindi ka lang mag po provide ng comfort for yourself. Because like, you have your health at stake, di ba working? Exactly. Exactly. You work it. it. It really takes time to get used to it. And I've been there, so I am used to it. But if you can afford your comfort, go ahead, pay for your comfort because no one's gonna pay that for you. Right. I mean, me, I, me, I, no one's gonna pay for my comfort unless I will pay for it. Right. So that's something that I have that I, that I learned, like from the past, in the long run, that regardless of how much you have worked hard. If you're not gonna provide yourself comfort, you're not gonna see yourself improving, improving at all. I think that's the very first definition of me saying it's a success that I can provide myself the comfort that I need. I don't need to have luxury cars. I don't need to have like luxury home to find myself comfort. No, I just need to have a couch, a TV in front of me. I feel like I'm very comfortable in that place, right? So that's the something that I really am very thankful because I can. Like nakuha ko lang yan siya because I have been part of the, the the virtual assistant world and I have been part of this company. I've been working with this company for like two and a half years now or yeah almost. So masaya kasi aside from the comfort that I can give myself, I can also provide for my family. Like I can help out a bit. And other than that, I can also put up some savings as well. So, diba, it doesn't come easy. You really have to work hard for it para makapunta ka sa position mo ngayon sa virtual world na hindi mo na kailangan pumunta sa office, yun yun yan. And sabi mo nga kanina na if tumaas yung salary mo, tataas din yung living expenses mo. Kasi nga, you will, you, you're investing in your comfort. Now, how do you manage your finances given na mas you have higher salary but you also have like higher living expenses? Bills to pay. Yeah, higher bills <laughs> to pay. So how do you manage all that with, you know, you mentioned that you're still, you're, you're, you're helping out to your family and you're also, um, you have your savings, Trevor, that's the most important, di ba? Mm -hmm. Having savings. So how do you manage all of that? So, very first thing that I do in budgeting is that do not spend more than what you earn. So live within your means. Yes. Kasi it it won't make sense. 
why would you decide to spend, let's say, 20,000 in a span of 10 days? And in that 10 days, you, un you only earn, let's just say, even 18,000. You are at negative 2K, right? So, if you're going to spend, let's say, 20,000 and you earn 10,000, it doesn't make any sense. Why? So, you know, it really comes with a lot of patience and time para mabili niyo yung gusto niyong bilhin. So, guys, alam niyo na, you have to be patient. Kung meron kayong gustong bilhin, save for it. Pag-ipunan niyo, tapos wag yung excited kayo masyado, utang kayo to get that. So, you have... So, it really comes with a lot of patience, no? So, yun nga, guys. Um, key to saving is maging patient if you want something and, but you don't need it urgently like once lang siya diba so hindi talaga siya necessarily na kailangan nyo by that moment then you can make up a plan goal kung kailan nyo yun kailan nyo yun bilhin um, pag ipunan nyo and konting sacrifice lang sa ibang bagay para ma mabili nyo yun agad so yeah that's what we've learned sa experience ni Lovely and also um, live within your means, get out of debt. Kasi kung, um, if you're gonna spend more than what you're earning, then mababaon talaga kayo sa utang. So yeah, you have to make sure na hindi kayo lalabas sa budgeted amount nyo. And i-track nyo yung um, expenses nyo, kung magkano yung in-earn nyo. So, um, everyone like has a different set of salary level. And you probably find it like, ah, taas na sahod niya, ah, baba na na sahod niya. No, well, it's not gonna be like that. It would always still be depending on your expenses. Kasi, no matter how high your salary is, and, yeah, that's what I've said. Like, if you're gonna spend more than that, unless if you have a very good credit limit in the back, mm -hmm. I, I right. don't think you would have, like, such worry, like, yung mga nagpapapapapapa 5-6 na hahabulin ka gano'n. Super laki ng interest ng mga ganyan. Yeah, so yun yung mga nakakatakot kasi. Uh -oh. So, and then I have been in that situation before. You just really have to get out of it as soon as possible para hindi kayo lulubog. And whatever salary you're getting right now, go ahead and make sure you spend within that salary. Spend wisely. Spend wisely, exactly. And guys, here's another thing. If you feel like you can do more compared to what you're doing right now, do not be afraid to do that other thing you can do. Because that other thing that you can do, yun yung baka mag aahon sa inyo sa kahirapan. Right, so confidence is the key. Exactly. That's, where, that's what helped Lovely to to get where she is right now. So confidence lang guys. Um, if you're doubting yourself, practice nyo lang yung confidence nyo and research more kung gusto nyo mag-explore ng ibang bagay. And also according a kay Lovely, you have to invest in your comfort kasi nga you're working and iba din naman if you're, if you're working, you're earning a lot of money but you know, you're not comfortable. So dagdag yun sa stress. Also, I just want to thank Lovely for her time, for being here with us today and sharing her experience. Personally, ako, madami akong natutunan sa kanya. As I've mentioned earlier, she is my mentor, not only sa work, but also like in real life, especially when it comes to budgeting, kasi I'm really like an opposite to her. I'm so magastos, so I've learned a lot talaga sa kanya. She gives like tips kung paano makapag-save. Yeah, I hope you guys learned a lot today and follow Lovely to her social media platforms. If you want to see Lovely on our next episode, kindly comment down below. Yeah, Lovely, thank you so much for your time today. Of course. And I hope you will be joining us next time. Well, yeah, give it a chance right now. Also, please don't forget to share, share like, and subscribe. Bye!